Hey guys, it is Angel B here and welcome back to my channel today. Today is going to be the start of a brand new series on my channel. It is just going to be a building series where, where I show you how to create furniture with little tiles and chisel and bits. I'm basically just going to be using chisel and bits to do this and then using little tiles to make it so you can sit on the items like this. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make this this chair it is super cute it is like an actual chair that you can sit on and here are just some of the things that I've done I've made like some stools I've made a bed which works and I'm just gonna be showing you how to do things each episode so I'm just gonna place the chair down here just so I have kind of like a reference okay so I'm gonna show you a brief introduction into chisel and bits first so um for example, there is these diamond chisels, there is also a golden chisel, an iron chisel, and a stone chisel. And this is kind of like the normal chisel, except when you hit alt on the keyboard, keep hold of alt, it brings up this menu, and this is a single bit, a line, a pen, and then you, you get it. Here you can draw the region, same material, connected material. And I'm going to show you a brief example of what it does. So I'm going to place, I'm going to place um, a piece of wool down and I'll just place some wood. And I'm going to go into survival. I just turned it peaceful so I don't, I don't die. Basically what the diamond, basically what the chisel does is, let's example, let's for example you had it on single bit. And then when you hit, every time you do this, you are breaking like one single pixel of that block and you can carve things out by doing this and then also there is an item called the chisel bag if you have a chisel bag in your inventory while you are chiseling a block out like this all the items will go into the chisel bit bag like all the little bits that you've just carved out so we have broke 32 pixels so that's basically how it works and then if you click shift on the keyboard you can see them zoomed in so basically that's how the diamond chisel works and it's how all of them work. I think just each one has shorter durability. But I'm going to show you another example with line. This one is a little bit tricky to like control, but if you look at this bit here and then break it, it'll break it's just like a line. We could go down like this. So again, you can carve things out like that. That kind of looks a bit weird already. And then the other one would be a pin, and that is just the top layer, like this, or the side layer if you wanted, like this. And then we've got a connected pin, which is the material. And then you've got the drawn region. This is where you can hold the left button down and drag, and it will draw a region. Then you let go, and it will break the region. And then you've got like the cubes here. This is just like cubes like this and then you've got the grid that sticks to a grid structure and if you make a mistake here like I have done I've gone into the dirt just click undo and yeah you just hold alt down and then you can click either of these but you have to be keep holding alt so that's basically how this works with the chisel so let's take the actual chisel pieces that we have carved out see look how many we've got here from just one block so I'm going to take some wool and I'm just going to do a brief example of what these do. So the single bit again, this would place it with the right click so you can like make pixel art if you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I put that, but that's kind of like what it is. And then the line, we'll do a line like that and then lines like this. You could make some sort of fence. Or blinds, that kind of looks like blinds. I don't know what it looks like, but... And then pin would just be like... Just a pin like that, and then you can do it on the side as well. And then a connected pin... Is pretty much the same thing, but it'll fill in the gap instead of... You see here, if we put it... If we have it on pin, it will fill the whole area, including this bit here. But then if we switch it to connected pin, it'll just do this bit because there is a layer of pixels right there. And then we've got connected material, which it will just replace that material when going up. Then we've got drawn. 
again, you can draw. Obviously I've just used all of my chisel bits, so I'm gonna, oh, I've used them all in the bag too. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> break some of this to get some back. They're grid snapped, that'll just stick to a grid. And then we've got the different sizes. Like that then this one doesn't stick to a grid so you could like move it around more and that is basically how i created this chair i'll go through the chair that's pretty much the basics of this mod everything else in this mod like these is where you can like copy chisel designs and things like that this is where you can rotate and then in creative menu if you wanted to break things in creative it has the chisel and bits and this has every block in your game that can be chiseled and if you keep hold of shift you can see what they all are so i'm just basically going to show you how to do this chair or one similar at least if you look at it you can kind of copy it because you can kind of see the pixels each pixel here this is like one pixel so basically it was pretty difficult to do this <laughs> but the way i did it is i had a stone back like this and I did it against I did the back bit first like against this and then I just brought it forward so I'm gonna be doing I guess like a speed of this or I'll kind of go through it it's not gonna be the exact same because it's very detailed also there is another feature this here place where it says place or replace if you wanted to place a block like this, that's going to place it like on top of the block you are working on. But if you use the replace, this will replace, this will replace the block like this. So you can like draw into the wall. So that's pretty good. And then if you are in creative as well, you can middle mouse button it and you can create like, and then you have permanently got that thing. But if you're in survival, you can just use these which I'll probably go over them in another time because they're, I don't use them at all, so. So yeah, so you want to figure out the middle of the chair. If you want it to be like two seater, three seater, I guess this could be classed as two, but it sits me in the middle. And then like a single seater would be like half the size of this. So I'm just gonna do the double again. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the heart, but this time I'm gonna make it a bit more odd so it's like an actual so it's like an actual heart so you want to find the very middle well it doesn't have to be the middle exactly but just you want to find the middle okay that should be good and then you want to i'm gonna do you don't have to do this but i just decided to put the heart in okay so we have the heart And then we want to go downwards to make the back part of the chair. So I have done it two and then one and then two, like around here. So I'm gonna do, it goes out two, down one, and then out another two. And I've made this like a double thick too. You don't have to, but I mean, that's just, that's just what I've done. So I'm just showing you what I've done. And then it goes down another two and another two. So it goes down two and then another two. I'm just gonna do the one layer for now just so it doesn't look confusing. Like this. And then you obviously want to repeat the same on the other side as you are doing it so you don't get confused. Well, that's the best way I've learned. Like this. And then once it's gone down three, so one, two, three, it goes across one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. This chair is gonna look a bit lower, but it's okay, we can make it higher. And then it goes down one, one again, one, two, and then the end. So I'm gonna repeat that on the other side and then down one, like that. And that is exactly what I have done on this side. Obviously I've done this a bit lower, but we can make it higher. I'm going to shift click it. I'm going to break it. And I'm going to use creative. I'm keeping hold of shift so you can have more control. And I'm just going to make that a little bit higher. So 
So the way I am doing this is holding shift and I'm in creative. So I'm going to middle click mouse button what I've done and then break what I've done and then just bring it up by keeping hold of shift like that. So then we're going to do the back of the chair. So I'm going to break this and I'm going to turn it round just so I can show you the back. And then you see here we have done this bit here so we need to go down one two three so one two three one two three one two three four one two three four and then across two and then another two and then across one i'm going down as i'm doing this and then one, two, three, four down. One, two. Four like that. And then I'm going to break this just so I can get that one so it's easier. And then I've done one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down. Like that. That may look really different at the moment, but I promise it's not. That actually is how it is. And then basically what you want to do is repeat that on the other side. Like that. So we have basically the back of the chair. And then and this be these pieces are going to be like these bits as well like the I don't know what they're called the stumps of the chair and then we're gonna go across one two like so it's like this across one and then up two and then like up one and then all the way across to the other side but then we're gonna do this side Like that. So that is the complete back of this chair. The, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double it up at the top just so it doesn't, just so it gives it more. Well, I don't know why I just did it. Okay. <laughs> did I do the heart? I don't think I did the heart. Okay, so like that. Oh, and also like that. Okay. So now we have the back of the chair. It kind of looks a bit odd. It looks a bit flat. It's like very pixelated. I'm going to do this bit here. So that is one up. So that's going to look like that. Like that. Okay, so that is the back. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to work on bringing it forward. So I'm going to break this break and then I'm gonna turn it around and we need to basically fill all this in with the wool so I'm gonna take the wool piece and I'm gonna click connected material and that will basically fill it in like this I'm leaving the heart empty because that's kind of like I'm actually gonna double the heart up just so it's a bit thicker Like that you don't have to that's just what i'm doing and then this is where it can get a bit tricky because you are actually like building the chat itself so we're gonna work on the side arms so the way i've done this well you can kind of get a bit creative with this actually you don't really need to follow what i'm doing but you want to bring it out so it's um a block so we're gonna not go any further than this this is just so you can place things next to it and things so i'm gonna put a little wall in front of that just so we know not to go any further and then i'm going to draw a region from there oh gosh i need to take my shader off okay hopefully you can see with this i'm going to draw the region from this one here to the wall making sure it's one bit and that is all we need we don't need the wall anymore just that's as far as we're going to be doing it you don't actually have to have it that far but we don't want it like 
any bigger. So then I'm gonna build up the arm. So the way I have done it is one, two, three, four, like a far long box, like just like this. I'll like pause here for a sec, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna do this top bit here. So that's one, two, three, but obviously this chair is a lot smaller. Okay, one, two, three, draw on a region. I'm gonna bring it up like this. I'm just gonna break this one just so I can see like this bit here. So the way this how I have done this, so there's the far cube. So there is the far cube. And then we're going to focus on this bit under here. So that's another far cube like that it's gonna look like that and then you obviously want to bring this back so it reaches the wall like that and then we're gonna go in we're gonna follow the pattern of the chair here like this you can't obviously see this because we've got this here. I can actually get rid of that just so I can show you how it actually looks without it. I'm gonna fill in the shape like that. And that is basically the arm we just got to bring it down so we got to bring it down three across two and then one so that is starting from here so we got to bring it th three across like three and then one down like that so that is going to be one side of the armchair and then here it drops down two and then three so I'm actually gonna move this one across like that and then do this one and then what we want to do is create the seat so that is gonna be all the way across to this side and this is when you can use connected material once you have done like the basic line because then every time you click it'll just bring out the section instead of the whole chair like this so that is the actual like seating part of the chair and then what you want to do is you want to copy the same pattern that we've got here i'll just kind of show you so you can take a pause it or whatever so then we've got to repeat it on this side so it can be a bit difficult So it's like this. Okay, like this. So I've pretty much finished this side. I'm just kind of like doing this bit now. Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we gotta fill it in. We gotta fill this section in. So I'm just gonna use character material and that should like just basically fill it in like that. And then what we want to do is we want to do the base of the chair. So that's basically the bottom section. Oh, so for this, I've gone down one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four, like that. Oh, I need to be one lower. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like that. And then I have gone down oh, one, two, and then all the way across. So one, two.
So it should look like that. I'm just gonna kind of pause here a sec just so you can get like a screenshot or whatever. And then we need to fill this whole area in. So I'm gonna use connected material and then that should like bring it out like this. So that's basically where you'd sit. And then we're gonna make it look a bit more fancy. You could leave it like this if you wanted, but I'm just gonna do these bits here and I might add a bit more detail, so. Okay, then all that's left is to do the front of the chair. So I need the dark oak planks. I think that's what I used. Yes, it is. I also used um, spruce just to create, like, as you can see, it has a bit of detail in the colors. So what we need to do is this bit can get a little bit tricky, but I'm basically just gonna kind of outline it. I'm gonna go like this. Oh, I'm just gonna move it. Okay. So we go across three on the top of here. And then we're gonna go down one like that. And then in one, oh, and then in two, like this, and then you can fill it in if you want. And then this is where we go all the way down. So then you've got the base at the bottom, which is going along here, two, like that. And then we basically need to copy this design on the back. So I'm going to cover the whole base in the wood. And then we need to copy this design so it goes down one and then across one two three and then it goes up so we need to copy this it goes up seven and then up one two three four one two three four and then up oh and then across one like that and then as you can see it goes across two higher up and then this is where we have come to the top and then we can fill this in I'm gonna finish this top bit off like this it's gonna look a bit different to the one that I originally did because I kind of went with a different style. And then you can kind of just, just like customize it till you get it how you want it to look. Which I guess can be quite difficult, but I'm just trying to like fix it up a bit more. Basically, you just gotta keep playing with it until you've got it to how you like. So, as you can see, they're a bit different, but this is just what I have done so far. And then you want to repeat the same on what you've done on the other side, but you can just keep messing with it just until you come up with something you like. And then I've used a lighter shade in the middle, and a way to do this would be to get a lighter wool, so a wood, so I'm gonna use spruce. And I'm going to draw a region and I'm going to hit replace instead. So then I'm going to fill in the middle. So then I'm going to fill in the middle just so it's like gives it a little bit more detail. Kind of like that. So okay, I'm just going to show you the example on this chair because like once you've re basically repeated this side on this side, you can just do that by eyeballing it. You then, this is where I use, this is where I use little tiles. So we want to go into little tiles. And what we'll need for this is a little recipe and the little wrench. I'm not really going to go in do much depth into little tiles. I know my friend Runa has done that so you can go and check her little tiles tutorial out. I think she's going to be doing another one soon. I'll link the video below. 
she kind of goes into depth with what the things do. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you are selecting the areas. So I'm going to place a block behind it like this because we want to get the max height. So if we right click on this grass block, that will basically select everything that's that height in, in between the area. So if we select this, this is now selected everything in that whole area that are little tiles. And then we want to right click the recipe and select these things you can do. You can do like storage, a door, chair, fixed. We want to do a chair for this purpose. I'm going to show you the chair save and then you want to right click the little wrench place it inside and then click craft and that will give you the chair so i'm going to place it down i'm going to put it behind a block like this okay so now we can like place things behind it and we can place things in front of it so and then you can just sit on it that is basically how to do a chair. I'm going to leave a PNG, well, an image of like screenshots of this chair, just so you can like have a template to follow the pixels on. Because it's basically just pixel art, but 3D pixel art. There are so many possibilities you can do. And this is how I have started this series off. So I know that was a bit confusing, but I was trying to explain it as best as I could. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you would like to see more of this series. And don't forget to subscribe to get latest, to get my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.